Funk Fest with another unboxing. That's the Razer Sinosa V2 True RGB Gaming Keyboard. This is Neon Light number one, like it says. The best. There's that baby right there. There's the keyboard. And the cord and the man. You're gonna hook that up and see what it looks like. Here we go. Did the unboxing? There's the Sinosa V2 from Razer. Neon baby. That's what I call it. We're gonna go through some of the functions. I wanna shoot this on night so you can really see what's going on with this little baby here. So I got that on slow so you can still type and it's not really bothering your concentration. But you can do whatever you want with it with the settings as far as the neon lights go. Alright? So we did the unboxing. And we're gonna be checking out the Razer 2 version 2 Sinosa keyboard. Um, this is the newest version as you can see it's now hooked up I showed you the neon lights at night so we now got during the day and um, we're trying to see some things about it the way the cable goes you can see this is very easy you can pull it out how uh, you want the, uh, the cable to kind of trend for you will be in your best interest you can go this way or to the other side for me, living it in the middle is best. My first impression was um, with the low profile design, I really like that. The way it's flat, if you look on the side, you know, it's got some good vibes going. And when you flip those up, it's not really tall, it's kind of flat. So to type, it's low on the desk. And I'm kind of a fan of a low profile keyboard in this regard. Your wrists are not too high when you're typing because it's kind of, you know, if you're a gamer anyway, that's perfect for you. For me, also great. Guys, this feels really light, feels very comfortable. Build so it's pure resistance. Because I think, you know, they're more concentrating on gamers and stuff like that. You know, you got drinks while you, you know, gaming or whatever. So this is supposed to be spill resistant. I'm not going to try that out. Because I'm not a gamer. I'm not worried about it. But it's supposed to be spill resistant. Right here on this side, you got your media keys. Where you can flip back. If you're watching a video, you can easily just flip back on that. You know, like control the video, you ain't got to go on the mouse. You got your volume rocker right there. You can't see that on the screen, but that's, that changes the volume immediately. And that's your volume rocker, and if you're watching the video, you can mute, do whatever you want to do from right here. Just controlling. So, for gamers, that's totally perfect. You ain't got to go on the mouse, you stay on your keyboard. This is a gaming keyboard. That's not what I'm using it for. I love the way it looks, and I love the way it feels. What I forgot, this is slip resistance. They got stickers, kind of like rubbery stickers on the edges. So basically this is not moving anywhere unless you really push it. So if you're using it, it's not moving. There's nothing going on whatsoever. You can see with the stand, you got two options. You got the 60 or the 90 degrees. That's up to you depending on what's most comfortable. With the software, you can control basically everything on this keyboard as far as lightning, as far as shortcuts with the keyboards, you know, what have you. But for that, you got to download the software from Razer Online to do the controlling. I got it on the basic right now. It's, you know, not too crazy. Just kind of changes gradually so I don't too much concentrate on that. 